what's up with a happy Roblox family. Today is going to be a great day! You could say that again, except for the fact my stomach's growling. It's always growling. Would you like me to make you some breakfast? Oh, wow, that would be wonderful! Thank you so much, Laura! Sure, uh, Molly's still asleep and so isn't the baby, so I have some extra time today. Mm -hmm. What sounds good, pancakes? Pancakes sound delicious! You're the best wifey ever. Aw, thanks, Dan. La 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 la. Oh, this new book is so good. Really? Well, I haven't read a book since baby Kira came home from the hospital. Oh, it's a lot of work being a mom, you know. I know, it's a lot of work being a dad, too. <laughs> this is the first book I've gotten to read since she came home. All the diapers and bottles and late night feedings. I know, I hear you, Dan. Kids are a lot of work. Here you go! Hot, fresh, delicious pancakes! Don't eat them all, Dan. Molly will need some before school. Okay, okay, I'll try not to. Hmm, these are delicious. Molly! Molly, you're gonna be late for school! <coughs> Molly, seriously? Could you snore any louder? Ah, Mom, so early. Actually, Molly, it's 12 after 8. If you don't wake up, you're going to miss the school bus. Oh, my gosh. Oh, it's 12 after 8? Holy guacamole, I am going to miss the school bus. Wait a minute. Is Daisy awake yet? Molly, did you forget? Daisy's gone. Gone where? Oh, my gosh. Don't tell me I'm getting a new sister. That might be kind of cool. No, you're not getting a new sister. Remember, she's on the camping trip. Oh, yeah. She went on that camping trip with school. The one that I was like, nah. Winter camping sounds too cold for me. <laughs> okay, Molly, well, there's um, hot pancakes out here whenever you're ready. Pancakes? Wow, what kind of special occasion is this? I know, right, Molly? I can't believe it. Mom made us delicious pancakes. Hey, I make pancakes sometimes on weekends, like once a month. <laughs> Mom, you're kind of like feed us cereal on school days. I know, because you have baby Kira to take care of. That's right, and baby Kira is a lot of work. Speaking of, I better go check on her. She's really sleeping in today. Oh, sweet little baby. Oh my gosh, you woke her up. So you get to take her. Wake it and take it. Oh, Dan, I was just checking on her because, you know, she's usually up by now. Oh, she fell back asleep. <laughs> Oh my gosh, she's really grumpy this morning. That's not like baby Kira. What's wrong, little baby? I don't feel good, mama. You don't feel good? Oh no. Here, let me feel your head. You have a temperature, you poor thing. Okay, how don't you feel good? Achoo! Oh, you definitely are sneezy. And coffee. I don't feel so good. My tummy hurts. Your tummy hurts. Oh, no. We better get her some medicine. Here, Dan. Hold baby Kira while I go get some medicine, okay? Okay. Wait, why did you jump on my back? Um, I don't know. <laughs> Blacksburg is just kind of funny sometimes. <laughs> it's not that I won't give you a piggyback ride, but I think we kind of need to concentrate on the baby right now. I told you it was Blacksburg who did it, not me! Okay, I'm gonna go get some medicine for the baby. That's a bottle, that's not medicine! Yes, it's medicine. Why are you feeding her pancakes? No, she has an upset stomach! Well, you're gonna feed her a bottle. 
That's because she's a baby? She likes bottles? Oh, and besides, I put the medicine in the bottle, so she won't know, because she doesn't like medicine. Oh, <laughs> well, that makes sense, I guess. <coughs> baby Kira, just drink your bottle, okay? You'll feel all better, I promise. Do you feel any better yet? <coughs> I take that as a no. Okay, Dan, you stay with baby Kira. I've got to go check on Molly and make sure she's actually getting ready for school. Molly! Molly? Molly? Oh my gosh, Molly's missing! Uh, I think she already left for school, Laura. Oh, she didn't even say bye to me this morning. Oh, she's getting so grown up. Okay, Molly, well, I hope you have a good day. We've got bigger fish to fry right now, like a crying baby! <coughs> Maybe if I give her a bath, it'll make her happier. Sometimes when you have a fever, taking a bath is really soothing. Ah, good idea, Dan. It's okay, baby Kira. Everything's gonna be fine. Everybody gets sick sometimes. I even gave her her favorite um little inner tube floaty. She loves that. <laughs> Maybe she has a dirty diaper. Um, not likely. She's already clean in the tub. I don't know what's wrong. Um, her head's kind of shaking around crazy. Is she turning into a zombie? No, she's not turning into a zombie. Dan, calm down! Freaking out, freaking out. My baby's turning into a zombie. We have to stay calm. We're the grown-ups here, Dan. Oh, yeah, that's right. I forgot for a minute. <coughs> here, let me try. Sometimes babies just want their mommy. Hush, little baby, don't say a word. Mama's gonna buy you a mockingbird. A do, 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 do. Why didn't you sing the rest of it? Um, I sort of forgot the lyrics. Oh, brother. Okay, baby Kira. Shh, 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 shh. Let's go for a little walk around the house. That'll make you feel much better. Shh, 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 shh. <coughs> Well, I think the only thing to do is to lay her down and see if maybe she can take a nap. Then the medicine will start working and her body will start healing. There you go, baby Kira. Mommy will stay right here until you fall asleep. Finally, she's asleep. Come on, Laura, let's sneak out. Yeah, good idea. Dan, come on. I'm coming. I should just She was starting to wake up. Okay, close the door. Oh, thank goodness she finally fell asleep. I feel so bad that she's sick. I know. Today has been a really hard day. Who's that? Mom? Dad? Molly, what are you doing home from school? I, I, I don't feel so good. Oh, no. Not you too. What do you mean, not me too? <coughs> Let me feel your head, Molly. Oh my gosh, you're burning up. What do you mean not me too, Bob? Does somebody else have this this horrible sickness? Yeah, baby Kira. Oh man, she sort of sneezed on me yesterday. You know, babies do gross things like that. And well, look what happened. It's okay, come on, follow me, Molly. In bed, please. The school nurse is gonna call you soon, Bob. They were gonna have you pick me up, but I was like, no. <sighs> I'll just drive home. All right, Molly, I'm going to go get you some medicine. I'll be right back. I'm already on it. I mixed it in some orange juice because that medicine tastes terrible. Here you go, Molly. <coughs> Molly, wake up. You need to take your medicine, please. Huh? What? Oh, I don't feel good, Mom. Just drink that, Molly. You'll feel a lot better. Okay, now get into bed and rest. Yeah, Molly, and let us know if you need anything. Oh, sometimes being an adult and being a parent is so hard. Ah, 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 <coughs> Laura, it, it sounds like you're getting a little sick. Who, me? Nah, I don't have time to be sick. I'm a mom. <coughs> ah, oh, you need to go to bed. What? No, not me. I'm, I'm, ah, fine. Oh, I don't feel so good. Come on. Right to bed with you. But what if you catch it, Dan? I never catch anything. I have a super immune system. 
Good night, Laura. But what if the baby needs me? I'll take care of it. What if Molly needs me? Here you go. You can watch some TV. Night, night. Oh, I can't believe I caught what Molly and Kira have. Good thing Daisy's at camp so she didn't catch it. Oh. Daisy, I'm so excited about our sleepover with Brookie, aren't you? Totally, Molly. This is going to be so much fun, but what are we actually going to do at this sleepover? I thought we'd watch a movie, eat popcorn, maybe do like a dance-off, watch TikTok videos, and play Roblox, of course. Whoa, that sounds like so much fun. Molly, look, it's Brookie. Brookie! Hey, what's up? Come on in. Whoa, your bag looks really heavy. Are you staying for a night or a week? <laughs> I wish I could spend the night for an entire week, but my mom's too strict for that. I really had trouble um, getting her to agree to let me spend the night for one night. Well, then we'd better make it the night of our lives. Daisy and I were just talking about the fun things we could do. Really? Is Roblox on the list? Is watching TikTok on the list? Is eating popcorn and watching a movie on the list? Check, check, and check. All of those fun things are on the list. I knew you guys would have the best sleepover ever. I'm going to go put my stuff upstairs. No problem, Brookie. I'll start on the popcorn. Uh, Molly, you might want to come be with baby. I'm trying to get the popcorn, Daisy. What is it? Um, someone's at the door. Are you going to let me in or are you just going to stand there? Jeepers. Uh, Sarah, what are you doing here? Ugh, I guess I'll open the door for myself. Rude. Uh, Sarah, okay, I didn't actually invite you in, but all right, um... What are you doing here? I came for the sleepover, duh. I got the invitation in my desk at school. What? Wait, you sat at Brookie's desk today. Yeah, I can sit in any desk that I want. Well, that's why Brookie didn't get the invitation and I had to call her and invite her. Uh-oh, Sarah actually got Brookie's invitation. Wait, so you didn't actually invite me? Remember, Molly, don't stoop to her level. Don't be a bully. Um, well, um, yeah, sure. Of course I invited you. That's what I thought. I'm such a popular girl. Like, who wouldn't want me at their sleepover? Oh, Sarah, um, hi. What are you doing here? I'm here for the sleepover. I got an invitation. Duh. She got an invitation? Molly, are you feeling okay? Yeah, I just thought it would be nice to have another friend join us for the sleepover. Well, whatever. Now that we've agreed that I was invited. Ugh, duh. Can we actually have the sleepover? Like, what are we doing? We're doing so many fun things. We're watching a movie. We're playing Roblox. We're watching TikTok. What? Boring, boring, boring. Everyone knows that cool and grown-up sleepovers are always stay up all night challenges. What? Stay up all night? But we have school in the morning. So? If you don't want to be a loser and you want to have a super fun, super cool sleepover, you take the don't sleep in Brookhaven challenge. Duh. Well, um, what do you guys think? I'm going to do it because I'm going to be cool. I don't know. I need my beauty sleep. You sure do. Okay, Sarah. No being rude. Ugh, all right. I'd say sorry, but I'm not that nice. <laughs> it's okay, Sarah. We know. <laughs> what are you laughing about? I didn't tell you to laugh. Ah, uh, this is my house, Sarah. I can laugh if I want to. <laughs> oh, no. I've got the giggles. No, oh no. <laughs> Stop making me laugh. I can't breathe. <laughs> I can't breathe. <laughs> oh, I can tell this sleepover is going to be very annoying. <laughs> I'll be okay. Just give me a minute. <laughs> give me a minute. Oh my gosh. Those TikTok videos of kittens are so cute. Lame. Okay, well, watch these TikTok videos of these dogs. Also lame. Ah, oh, it's 11 o'clock. I'm getting so tired. Don't forget, we're taking the No Sleep in Brookhaven challenge. Yeah, um, maybe we should start playing Roblox. That'll keep us awake. Good idea. Nothing keeps you awake like playing Brookhaven. You live in Brookhaven. I know, but I'm going to play Brookhaven on Roblox while I'm living in Brookhaven. Whoa, mind blown. Oh my God, what is Granny doing in, in, in Brookhaven? 
And there's Piggy, and they'll be after you. Don't worry. I've got my supersonic rocket launcher. I'll take care of them. Whoa, Sarah! Ugh, I'm getting very tired. Me too. Ugh, it's almost midnight. I'm so tired. Me too. Hey, wait a minute. I have an idea. I'll be right back. Where is she going? She's doing laps around the house, maybe to wake her up. Uh, that's actually a good idea, but I'm really lazy, so that just makes me more tired. There it is! This ought to wake me up. Nothing's gonna wake me up. Me either. Oh, really? How about this? <laughs> Molly, what are you doing? Molly, quit squirting us with the, with that, the, the, the fire extinguisher, you loony tune! <laughs> oh, no! Here it comes again! I'm so giggly. <laughs> That's because you're so tired, Molly. Uh, I'm tired too. Oh, I think it's going to make me fall asleep. No sleeping! No sleeping! Okay, okay, I'm awake, I'm awake! Wait, no, 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 I, I, I'm not. Well, there's one down, two left to go. Brookie, wake up! Wake up! You, you need to wake up! Brookie? It's no use, Molly. She's down for the cow. Like I said. <laughs> Two down. One down. What? Are you talking wrong, Sarah? Are you getting sleepy? No, I just was terrible at counting for a second. Anyway, one down. Two to go. You mean three. You're in this competition, too. <laughs> There's no competing with me. I'm amazing at everything. Except for being nice. You're not very good at that. <laughs> oh boy, Molly. Good thing I brought this Starbrooks. Two hours later. So tired. So incredibly tired. Molly, you need some coffee and stat. Yeah, and not just a cup. A bucket of coffee. Somebody get me a straw. Bing! I'm awake, 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 I'm awake. And I'm gonna win this no sleep challenge! Oh no! She's gone to hyper speed! Holy guacamole! That's a lot of caffeine, Molly! That was a, probably a bad idea! Oh my god, I'm so awake! Oh my. Uh oh! I drink too much coffee! Now I gotta go poo poo! Oh! That's what happens when you drink too much coffee, Molly! Oh! Oh, I'm so tired! I. I. Dizzy, wake up! Wake up! Wake up! Nope, that happening. I'm going uh, down. Uh. Well, loser, it just looks like it's you and me. Well, I'm not a loser yet. <laughs> looks like I'm going to beat you at this competition. I don't think so. Jeepers, I thought all that coffee would keep me awake. But it's so late, I, I, I... I'm just falling asleep. La da da, la da da. Go to sleep so I can win this competition. Sarah, you're cheating! What, me? Never. <sighs> you don't even have an angelic voice, but you're still kind of making me tired. You know you want to close your eyes. Go to sleep and I'll give you a surprise. <laughs> Let the fun begin. I could give Molly the face that I put on my jack-o'-lantern at Halloween. <laughs> I could give Brookie, hmm, let's see, a very ugly makeover. <laughs> This is going to be a perfect day at school. <laughs> wakey, wakey, eggs and bakey. Huh? What? What? Oh, did I fall asleep? Oh, no. <laughs> you all did. I win. OMG, Brookie. Brookie, what is going on with your face? What happened? What are you talking about, Molly? I have no idea what you're talking about. Um, Brookie, it looks like someone drew all over your face. Well, Molly, why are you wearing that Halloween mask? I'm not wearing a Halloween mask. What are you talking about? Molly, 
your face is all red and you have devil horns. Oh, what are you guys talking about? <laughs> See, your face and your hair and... Wait a minute. Let's go look in the mirror. Good idea. Ah! What happened to my face? Oh my God, get this off. Get this, get this off. Um, Molly, I, 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 I look ridiculous. Okay, I'm just gonna wipe it off on the towel. Ah! We had to go to school this way? Are you serious? Ha ha ha! Nice sleepover, losers! <laughs> Can't wait to see you in school soon. <laughs> Bye! I knew that she shouldn't come to the sleepover! Oh, Molly, I'm so embarrassed! Well, if we're gonna be embarrassed, we're gonna do it together. Is that Molly, Daisy, and Brookie? <laughs> <laughs> they look hilarious! Yeah, laugh it up, laugh it up! I told them they were losers, and now this really proves it! <laughs>
I love when it snows. <laughs> Molly, you're so silly. I am loving no school. I'm gonna cry because I'm gonna miss school so much. Oh, seriously, Daisy, take a break. Take a chill pill from school. All right, girls, well, who wants popcorn? We could watch a movie. I do, I do. Okay, well, I've got some work to do, but I'll make you some popcorn. You guys pick the movie. Well, we already watched the one about the raccoon. Um, uh, no, no, no. Ooh, Cops is on. Ooh, I love Cops. Cops and popcorn sounds like a great blizzard activity. You don't hog all the popcorn. Don't worry, Molly, I'm making enough for everyone. How come Brookie got hers first? Because, Molly, she's our guest. Mmm, this popcorn's delicious. Yeah, you could say that again. Bad boys, bad boys, what you gonna do? What you gonna do when they come for you? Daisy, don't sing. You're making my ears hurt. Molly, try to be nice to your sister. I am, Brookie, I am! Girls, I'll be upstairs working in my office. Okay, we'll be down here scarfing down a bunch of popcorn. <laughs> was that your stomach growling, Brookie? No, was it yours? No, it's probably Daisy's brain making noise about science. Molly, you can't hear someone's brain. Actually, your mouth is talking right now, and that was used. That used your brain. What? What are you even talking about? Help me. There's that sound again. What could that be? Please help. Ah! There's a guy outside, and he looks like he's freezing to death. Oh my gosh. I know. There's a lot of snow. It's coming down. It's a blizzard. Come inside our house. Molly, he might be a murderer. You don't just invite anybody in. I'm not. I'm a m m murderer Yeah, he's just a frozen dude at our door. Wait, why are you a frozen dude at our door? I walked so many miles. Um, okay. So, it's okay. You can say it. Molly, he's trying. Yo, I better go start a file. That, that might warm him up some. G good idea. Okay, so why are you at our door? I... I am you 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 What? Your blah 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 blah? What's a blah 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 blah? Um, Molly, I think he said your brother. <laughs> I don't have a brother. What are you talking about? I, I'm your brother. He's not saying brother. Okay, Daisy, uh, what are you doing? I can't get it to stop. Jeepers. Well, that wasn't so hard, was it? Hey, Frozen Dude, come over here. I've got a nice warm fire for you. Come on. Okay, I can't move. My knees are frozen. Oh, oh, that's much better. Oh, oh look. He's not quite as blue anymore, is he? No, Molly, he still looks pretty blue. It's going to take a few minutes for him to heat up. But I'm serious, Molly. I think he did say he was your brother. Well, he's sadly mistaken. His brain must have gotten frozen then. Because, um, I don't have a brother. Oh, look, he's not blue anymore. He's kind of changing all sorts of colors. Are you okay? Oh, I'm feeling much better now. Oh, there. You okay? Gosh, that probably almost killed you from frostbite. Yeah, thanks for that. I, I, I found out just, well, this morning... I've been looking for a really long time for you and Daisy. You have? Why? Did I fail my math test? Are you the math police? You don't smell like you've taken a bath in a week. That's because I've been doing a lot of research. And I've been staying up a lot of late nights. Well, if you need a bath, there's one upstairs. Daisy, you might want to back up if he smells bad. Hey. Oh, it's okay. I wouldn't expect anything less from my sisters. Did you just say sisters? He did, Molly. That's right. I just I just got the records this morning. And I walked here because the blizzard, you know, and, and my car wouldn't go in the snow. But I found out I'm your long-lost brother. Dun, dun, dun! Is this dramatic or what? If you think so, hit that like button. Seriously, Molly? You're using this as some way for someone to hit the like button on... On YouTube? Of course I am! Our fans know everything about our lives! 
And, 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 and it's shocking to think I have a long lost brother. How do you know this? I know that I was born with two sisters who got adopted and I wasn't. And and I remember my little sisters and, and one had red hair and, and one had blonde hair. And I just know you and Daisy are my sisters. What? I have an older brother. I always wanted one of those. Remember what I said, Molly. Be careful what you wish for. Older brothers are the pits. Uh, I'm a good older brother. Well, I mean, I think I am. am. I, I, I never was around you guys, but, but I think I will be. I, I make a really good grilled cheese. Really? Because I'm starving. You can come into the kitchen with me right now and prove how good of a brother you are. Molly! What? He offered and I'm hungry. It's okay, Molly. I'll make you a toasted cheese. Toasted cheese? Did you just call it a toasted cheese? Oh my gosh! It's a grilled cheese! Who are you even? This guy says he's our brother. I'm not sure that I could actually believe that. Possible fire detected at your house. What are you doing, Daisy? I'm proving that he is not our brother. But, um, I think we have bigger problems! There's a fire in our house! Ah! Call the fire department! Help! Help! Nobody panic! I'm a trained firefighter! And also, here's your toasted cheese. Oh my gosh, my entire house is on fire! Ah! Okay, nobody panic! I'm gonna put this out right now! Alright, um, you guys should go outside, though. Out into the blizzard? Yes, and it's safer out there, at least. Berkey, are you coming? No, he's got the fire out, and I think everybody's okay. I'm not leaving my science research. It's on this computer. Are you sure everything's okay, Brookie? I don't know. I, I think so. I'm going back in to make sure. Is everything okay? Wait, did you even tell us your name? It's Levi. Oh, thanks, Levi. You're a really good older brother. Aha! You're not a brother, Levi. Wait, what? But I, I did all the research. You are my sisters and I'm your brother yeah what are you talking about Daisy don't be rude to Levi he just she just saved our house um well uh Daisy I just want to tell you that your booty is hanging out what yeah why don't you um become my plumber or something Molly that's not very nice well I'm just telling you your booty is hanging out oh uh, whoops <laughs> I guess this um these pants are a little too small yeah you think so Daisy's got a big booty. Molly, be quiet. Okay, fine. Everybody's always telling me to be quiet. So why isn't Levi our brother? Well, it says Levi was adopted from Blacksburg Adoption Center. We were never at the Blacksburg Adoption Center. We were at Brookhaven Adoption Center. But, but that doesn't mean anything. Uh, yes, because we were siblings pale and we were adopted at the same time as all of our siblings. Well, except for baby Kira. My parents had her later. Oh, so you guys aren't my long lost sisters? No. Sorry, Levi. Oh, no. I thought I had finally found some family. <laughs> oh, man. I feel so bad for Levi. I'm gonna go see him. Levi, are you pooping? No, I'm just crying. Okay, well then I can come in. Um, oh man, you look so sad. I just really thought you guys were my family. You know what, Levi? If you don't find your family, or even if you do, you can still come hang out with us. You're a nice guy. Really? I don't have anywhere to go on Thanksgiving. Really? Nowhere? No, I don't have a family. Well... I'm sure you can have Thanksgiving with us. Seriously? Yeah. Besides, if my dad cooks the turkey, we're going to need you here because he'll definitely try burning our house down. <laughs> oh, Molly, that's the nicest thing you've ever said. Yeah, but can we get out of the bathroom and talk about this out there? Because it smells like a little bit of a stinky doo-doo in here. Oh, sorry. I kind of farted. Hey, maybe you are my long-lost brother. I fart all the time. <laughs> See? Just like that. <laughs> By far, too. <laughs> we have a lot in common. Totally. Well, I'm playing Roblox and Bookie's playing Roblox, too. So, uh, you guys want to play some Roblox? Yeah. How about you, Levi? I love Roblox. Are you guys noobs, though? No, we're not noobs. Okay, DZ, um, maybe we should play that Doors game. That looked really creepy. I don't know. A creepy game? Are you guys old enough? Yeah. We have a YouTube channel. You want to see it? 
I totally do. You guys are kind of like my adopted sisters. Daisy, are you ever going to, like, go put on different pants? Seriously. I wait a minute. I'm playing Roblox. <laughs>
It means that you like someone in this room. Let me get closer. Oh, it's showing that Molly likes Luke. Oh, uh, uh, that thing is pretty crazy. And the crazy part about it is Luke also likes Molly. Say what? Uh, I'm really embarrassed. Okay, I think I'm done with the science fair now. Um, I'll see you guys in like a month when no one's remembered this. As you can see, the likeometer works perfectly to decide whether or not someone likes you. Oh my gosh. As you can see with Luke and Molly, they really like each other. I can't believe Luke actually likes me. Holy macaroni and cheese. Ahem, <clears throat> excuse me, let me introduce myself. I am Lauren and I am from the ingenious inventors company and i think your invention is worth one billion dollars what one billion dollars well is this cotton candy worth one billion dollars i only took a couple bites out of it sorry we've had cotton candy for years and years and years that's nothing new now please excuse me i need to talk to daisy but i want a billion dollars sorry molly this is all about me 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 and me I knew that my hard work would eventually pay off. All we need to do is to sign over the, the rights to your new likeometer and I will give you a check for one billion dollars. My sister just became a billionaire. Hi Brookhaven, this is Brittany from Brookhaven News and I'm so excited because I'm here at Brookhaven School where one of our very own Brookhaven residents has become famous and extremely rich. Daisy Acker has gotten a, a billion dollars, a billion dollars for her invention of the legometer. Here she comes now. Daisy, Daisy, hi, hi, I'm your biggest fan. Really? How did you even know about me before today? Well, I didn't, but I'm your biggest fan now. <laughs> Mostly because you're going to make me really famous. Oh, well, I'm glad I could help out, but maybe I could help out in a different way. What do you mean? Well, I heard the Bookhaven Shelter needed beds and food. Yeah, that's right. But you're a billionaire. Don't you want to go buy like a new Humvee or like new jewelry, a new iPhone? Yeah, but I've got a billion dollars, so I could give a little bit away to help out. Don't you think, Brittany? I think you are an amazing person, Daisy, and Brookhaven is lucky to have you. Why, thank you, Tiffany. No, no, my name is Brittany. Don't, don't get that wrong on the news, please. I want to be famous. Okay, okay, Brittany. Sorry about that. So need money. Must have a candy bar. Daisy. Daisy, you're my only hope. Molly, what are you doing right now? I, 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 I need money. I need clothes. Look at me. Molly, you were poor one second ago. <laughs> What's wrong with you? Well, you're a billionaire and I'm not, and I want some candy, so put some money in the bucket, money bags. Molly, I'm gonna make it rain. Make it rain. Gonna give you some money and make it rain. Seriously, you are? Yeah, of course I am, Molly. <laughs> you're my sister. Well, since I'm your sister, how about you put a little bit more money in the bucket? Sure, why not, Molly? Make it rain. Gonna make it rain. Gonna chase the money. Gonna chase the money. Gotta have the money. Gotta have the money. I've given away half of my money, and I think that that's pretty good. Now I'm going to go buy some stuff for myself. And uh, me, right? Molly, I gave you a million dollars. How much more do you want? Okay, I guess a million dollars is good. <laughs> Whoa, my new 24 karat gold Humvee is amazing. Now I'm going to head over to the science store because, you know, you can never have enough science. And if this invention made me a billion dollars... I wonder what the next one will make me. <laughs> Baby Kira, Baby Kira, it's time to wake up. No, too early. I am wild. Baby Kira, come on. I have to go to school and mom left me in charge, so you have to get up and have your breakfast. Come on, I know you must be hungry. I got hungry, I don't want you. Come on, baby Kira. It's time, you need to get up because you're gonna have a babysitter today. 
I now have a baby cell. I play with my unicorn. We fly into the air. She's never gonna get up. I know, Cupcake. She's just being kind of a brat today. Baby Kira, it's time for you to put down your toy and get downstairs for breakfast. Come on. I want baby cereal. I don't care about not doing it. Ugh. You are the most challenging little sister ever. Get out of bed. Before I put you in time out. Okay, okay. I get out of my bed. You're so grumpy in the morning. So what do you want for breakfast, baby Kira? I want mom to make it. Mom can't make it. She's not here right now. She's at work. She left me in charge, remember? I want mom to make it. I want mom to make it. Baby Kira, oh my gosh. Ugh. You're getting a babysitter soon, so you have to just listen to what I'm saying. I want, I want to go uh, to, to this place and McDonald's. Baby Kira, you're going to have a babysitter. No, I don't want baby diddle. You'll be super happy because it's grandma. Wait, grandma coming? Yep, grandma's coming. Ooh, I did. I'm hungry. Uh, that's some salad. Are you sure you want to eat that? I, I super hungry. I eat it. Okay, I'm pretty sure you're not going to like that, though. <laughs> Ew, they gross. I told you. Salad's kind of yucky <laughs> first thing in the morning. How about I make something delicious instead? I need a bath. <laughs> Baby Kira, did you just poo poo your pants? You're supposed to be potty training. Oopsie, yeah, I poo poo my pants. Here, have some cereal. How about I open this cup and eat something else? Oh, Baby Kira, you are not going to eat it all. Oh, like, it's just chocolate in there and stuff. You can't eat that. Okay, I eat cereal then. Mmm. What's your point going to take my... Oh, would you hear that? I bet it's Grandma at the door. Oh, Grandma. I got have fun with Grandma. Yep, you better eat your breakfast, though. You guys will probably have a very special day. Let in. I want to hang out with my Grandma. Wow, your little sister is so bossy. I know, right, Cupcake? Oh, she's even bossier than you. Hello there, my sweet little granddaughter. Grandma! I'm so happy to see you. Oh. oh my, you smell like you have a dirty diaper. I'm trying to be pie between Grandma. I, I adore you. She's also trying to talk like a big girl, but things don't always work as planned. All right, baby Kira, I have to go to school now. Have a great day with Grandma. Come on, Cupcake. <sighs> Taking care of my sister is harder than attention. Oh, she makes such a big deal out of taking care of you. I mean, you do have stinky diapers, but other than that, I think it's very fun to take care of you, baby Kira. Okay, good grandma, I love you too. Okay, dear, hold still. Hi, old duckers, I tickle, tickle. Oh, you're so cute. Ooh, that diaper was super stinky, but you're all clean now. Did you eat breakfast, my sweet little granddaughter? Uh, my made my cereal and I ate it all up. Well then, maybe we should go for a walk or something. I want my cartoons. Okay, we can watch cartoons first, and then we'll take a nice long walk. Okay, so good, Grandma. I like Peppa Pig. Can we watch Peppa Pig? Oh dear, I haven't watched cartoons in quite a while. Peppa Pig sounds like a great thing to watch, but let's see if it's on right now. Oh look, I just saw the news and a cooking channel. No, 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 we don't want to watch that. I, I, I don't want to watch it. I want to watch Peppa Pig and play with my octopus. Oh, that's octopus. Octopus. Well, good try, baby Kira. All that's on right now is the brightly colored unicorn. I watch this, I guess. I love cats. I love every type of cat. All right, honey, I'm going to go whip up something delicious like some cookies. You have fun watching your cartoon. Okay, Grandma. Talk about your cookie, okay? Oh, of course. <laughs> I have an idea. I don't want to talk to you. I don't want to talk 
the iPhone grandma. <laughs> Are you doing okay in there, baby Kira? Oh boy, I can't go back. Grandma talking to me. Ah, okay, grandma. Okay, dear. Now I can um, lick the spoon that Grandma has because it is yummy like cookies. Hey, what are you doing? <gasps> are you trying to lick the spoon? Ah, ah, ah. It's okay, honey. Every child wants to lick the spoon after you make cookies. I'll give it to you. Grandma, ah, why couldn't you stay with me? Well, the cookies are going to be done in about 30 minutes. Then we'll have ourselves a nice little walk and a cookie with some milk. Yay! Thank you, Grandma! I can't play high seek with Grandma. She never find me. Oh, baby Kira, where, where are you, dear? Uh, hi, she never find me ever. Uh, I could hide in washes. Uh, I can't find a good spot. Uh, I want to crawl under here. <laughs> You never find me, not ever. Baby Kira, where are you? Oh no, I lost her. I had to be responsible and I lost my granddaughter. I play hide and seek so good you can't find me ever. Is that a little baby that I see under the desk right there? You scared me. I play hide and seek with you, Grandma. Oh, well, you might have wanted to tell me you were actually playing hide-and-seek, so I knew. Sorry, I'll tell you next time. We go for a walk now. Sure. For that matter, I ran out of chocolate chips. We probably need to go to the grocery store. Come on, sweetheart. Uh, I am going to the store because I get um, some trees where I go. I like grapes. Oh, you do? Well, maybe we'll have to pick up some. Okay, dear, let's just get a cart and then you can sit in it, okay? Like a good girl, don't be taking anything off the shelves. Oh, I wouldn't do that. Oh, chips, I want those! No, dear, we, w we can get some grapes, though. A bananas, too! No, just some apples, and okay, we can get bananas. I spoil you rotten. That great fruit is good for you, Grandma. Yeah, fruit is good for you. I'll get some cheese while I'm here. Oh my gosh, I'm spending way more money than I thought. Now, where's the chocolate chips? Oh boy, get potato chips. No, dear, I need chocolate chips for the cookies I'm making back home. I, I, I love chocolate chip cookies. Oh, maybe we should stop somewhere at the park or something before we go home for your nap. Grandma, I can go with the Ferris wheel and look for fun. Yes, baby Kira, I brought you to this Ferris wheel. I haven't ridden one in so long. Grandma, I can't go out and see more, Grandma. It's okay, dear. See, I lifted you up. Oh, wow. I love it. You're going to see our black book from here. That's right, dear. Oh, I had such a wonderful day with my littlest granddaughter. I want for day two, Grandma. Uh, I, I want to stay on the fair with Rio forever. Oh, no, dear. We have to get off the Ferris wheel in about two minutes because you have to take a nap. What? No, I didn't take a nap. Yes, dear, you have to. No, I am going home. I never go home. I want to stay here. Whee! If you can't behave and go home and take your nap, I won't come over to play again. Really? I'll never come over again? Well, I would probably come over, but I wouldn't take you to go on the Ferris wheel. Okay, Grandma. I go home and take my nap. Good girl, sweetie. Oh, someone's a sleepy little girl. I doubt you're even going to be awake by the time we get home. Ah, Grandma. I'm so sleepy. I love you, Grandma. I love you too, sweetheart. <laughs> Here we have the arctic fox. When the arctic fox is hungry, 
Oh my gosh, not this show about the Arctic Fox again. I've seen this like five times. Why do they keep playing all these reruns? Molly, you could work on your homework. Christmas vacation is coming soon, and don't you want to get ahead like me? No. Boring. Ooh, someone texted me. It's Brookie. She wants to know if I want to come to the park and play some soccer. Well, Molly, since you aren't going to do your homework, I guess you should go do that since you're so bored. Hey, Mom! Hey, Mom! Hey, Mom! Whoa, Molly, you almost ran into me. And be careful, I just got this plant. And isn't it so pretty? Yeah, sure, whatever, Mom, it's a plant. Anyway, um, Brookie just texted me, and she wants to know if I can come to the park and play soccer for a little bit. Molly, it's really snowy out. It's probably really slippery at the park. Yeah, but Mom, I'll be careful. Come on. Uh, okay, but be back by dark, all right? Sure thing, Mom. Thanks so much. Ricky, I'll be there in 15 to 20 minutes. Send. Whoa, these roads are so snowy. This is going to take me forever to get there. It's okay. I know a shortcut. Whoa, there's Bricky down there. I guess this was a good way to come. Except for this mountain is really snowy. I hope that I'm going to be okay, but, but, but I want to see my friend and I don't want to be late. Well, here goes nothing. One minute, 37 seconds later. Oh! oh, 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 oh. <gasps> Jeepers, I wonder what's taking Molly so long. Oh well, I guess I'll practice my drills until she gets here. This is so unlike Molly. I'm gonna text her and make sure everything's okay. Hmm, no text back. All right, I'm gonna try calling her. Hey, you've reached Molly. Leave a message after the beep. Beep! Molly, where are you? I'm starting to get worried. You said you were gonna meet me here and it's not like you to not come and not to text me and not answer my texts. Are you mad at me or something? What's going on? Call me. I guess I'll just sit here and wait for her. <sighs> Something's not right. I'm going to go see if I can find Molly. It's not like her to not call me or text me. Something really weird's going on. I can just feel it in my heart. Molly? <gasps> Molly! Molly, what, what happened? Molly! Say something! Anything! Molly, wake up! Huh? What? Oh, what's going on? Molly, oh my god, you're conscious, thank goodness. What, what happened to me? I don't know, but your bike is over there, so I'm thinking maybe, did you take a shortcut down the mountain and, and fall? I don't know, who are you? What, what do you mean who am I? I'm your best friend, Brookie. I've never seen you before in my entire life. I don't know a Brookie. Oh my god, you must have a giant bonk on your head. I'm calling, I'm calling 911. 911, what's your emergency? Yes, uh, my friend, I think she fell and hit her head. She's on, what street is this? On the corner of Jackson and, and Cedar Ave and, and Brookhaven, and she doesn't even know who I am. I think she might have amnesia. Amnesia? Yeah, that's it. We'll send an ambulance right away. Thank you. Molly, just stay with me. Stay with me. What? Who are you calling Molly? I don't know who Molly is. You're Molly! We pulled up to the patient. Oh my god, they're here, Molly. Just hang on. Why do you keep calling me Molly? Oh, that's your name. My name is not Molly. Well, then what is your name? Well, I don't know. Why don't you tell me? I am telling you, it's Molly. No, it's not. I don't know why they're taking me to the hospital. I feel fine. La 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 How long has she been like this? Um, I'd say, um, 20 minutes since I found her. Are her eyes always that crazy? No! <laughs> she's usually just a little crazy, but now she's a lot crazy. Can you fix her, doctor? I can try. I can try. La 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 Molly? What do you call it, Molly? <laughs> You farted! What? No, I didn't. She doesn't even remember farting. Okay, dear. We're going to see what that bonk on your head is all about. Bonk on my head? I don't have a bonk on my head. I think you very much do. Wee-oo, 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 wee-oo. Here, I'll make the noise for you if you want. 
I don't really need you to make the noise. I just need you to get into the x-ray machine. Ah! Does she have a broken back? Holy guacamole! No, no, no. I'm just really flexible. <laughs> I can bend over backwards, forwards. I can um basically put my feet behind my head and also turn my head all the way around like an owl. No, you cannot. No human being can do that. You definitely need to have a shot to help you with your back injury. And it looks like you most definitely have a concussion. You have amnesia. What? No, I feel fine. Ow! No, I don't! Ow. No, I don't! Ow! Let me out of here! You locked me in here, you crazy lunatic! Okay, you should not be walking around. You have a head and back injury. You need to get into bed. Fine! This guy thinks he knows everything about me. I know everything about me! Um, well... Actually, I'm not sure I do. Why can't I remember my own name? Or where I am? Or what happened to me? Just come lay down in your in your hospital bed. Everything will be okay, Molly. I promise. Wait a minute, why am I here? Am I gonna have a baby? What? No. Do I have to go poo-poo? <laughs> no. Am I a baby? Molly, stop asking such silly questions. Who's Molly? Ah, <sighs> you're Molly. I'll be back in a moment. I'm just gonna give her a shot so that it relaxes her. And her back will feel better afterwards. Okay, doctor. Tell it to me straight. Is my friend gonna be okay? Some people who have amnesia never remember who they are. What? So I've lost my best friend forever? That's right. You may. But some people remember when they do their things that they love and their everyday routine. It just will start making connections in their brain for them. You could try by having Molly do some of the things that she loves. Thank you, doctor. Her mom and dad should be here very, very soon. They were both at work. I suggest that she gets at least a week of rest at home with no one bothering her except for to eat and sleep. You've got it, doctor. I hope Molly's gonna be okay. Me too, me too. Molly, it's been a week and all you're doing is sitting around in your pajamas. Yeah, Molly, don't you think it'd be good to get outside and get some fresh air? Who's Molly? You're Molly. Come on, here's some lunch. You want some lunch? Um, can you please move? You're in the way, and I'm watching this show about Arctic foxes. Molly, you've seen this three other times. You hate this show. What? No, I haven't seen it three other times. I love this show. Molly, he talks about when the Arctic fox get hungry, and they go and look for food. I don't care. I like this show. Hey, guys. Oh, no. Molly's still sitting on the couch at day eight. Yeah, she's just like a slug. Well, I'm watching this show on Arctic foxes that I've never seen before. Molly, you've seen this like three other times. You hate this show. Come on outside. Let's go do something fun. I don't even know what I think is fun, okay? Molly, go outside and get fresh air. I don't have to listen to you. You're not my mom. Really? Because I have your birth certificate that says I am. <gasps> um, okay. Well, you may be my mom. Get dressed, Molly, and go outside. Come on, Molly. I have a bunch of stuff we could do. It'll be fun. Ah, <sighs> fine. All right, let's go. Uh, Molly, did you forget to put your clothes on? What? Oh, um, no, this is my bathing suit. Molly, it's the middle of winter. What? No, it's summer! Molly, it's winter! Oh, my God. This amnesia thing is gonna just kill me. Yeehaw! How about this? Um, Molly, you would never wear that, ever. <laughs> I'm trying out different personas to see who Molly actually is. How about this? Go team, go team, go! Um, Molly, definitely not. You are not a cheerleader. Not even close. Is this good enough for you guys? That's perfectly Molly. Come on, Molly, let's go outside. We could, um, play in the snow. Fine, I'll come with you. Do you want to make snow angels? That sounds kind of cold. No, you love making snow angels. Come on, Molly. You have to remember who you are. I miss you as my best friend. Let's make snow angels. Is this how you make snow angels? Um, well, sort of, Molly. I mean, you're supposed to move your arms up and down, and I guess that'll be a good enough angel. <laughs> so do you remember who you are now? No. Come on, Molly. You love riding bikes. I thought I got in an accident on a bike. Why would I love it? Because you do like riding bikes, Molly. Do you remember who you are now? Um, let me think about it. No. Molly, pass it to me. Oh, 
Okay, Molly, that was sort of a pass to me. <laughs> Do you remember anything about soccer or your real life? Um, let me think about this. No! <sighs> Everybody wants me to remember who I am. Of course we do, Molly. We like you as Molly. The old Molly. Well, what if I'm not the old Molly ever again? I can't help it. This is the new Molly. Uh-oh. Oh, the new Molly is super grumpy. Okay, well, I'm just going to go home now, Molly. I'll talk to you tomorrow. Fine. Bye. Everybody wants me to be the old Molly. I don't know who the old Molly is. All I can be is this new Molly, and it's letting everyone down. It's making them sad, and and they want the old Molly back, but I can't give them the old Molly. I, I don't belong here anymore. I'm moving to Blacksburg, and I'm not telling anyone where I'm going. Goodbye, Brookhaven. Goodbye, friends and family. I'm sorry I can't be what you need. It was good. I didn't get detention. Aren't you proud of me? Wow, Molly, you're really moving up in the world. Mom, what's for dinner? I'm starving. The lunch lady served hot dogs, but she put sauerkraut on them. So all I had was a bag of chips for lunch. Yeah, you could have had an apple too, but you didn't want it. That's because my apple had a worm crawling out of it. Molly, no it didn't. You don't know. You weren't there. Girls, stop arguing, please. We're having tacos for dinner. Tacos, I love tacos. Me too, can we have bean burritos? No, Molly, bean burritos make you fart. Everybody knows that. Just eat the taco. <laughs> Mom, can I watch some TV till dinner's ready? I suppose. Daisy, it is your turn to set the table. Okay, but Molly better do it tomorrow night. Don't worry, I'll make sure that you have to do it again. Molly! Girls, stop fighting, please. Hmm, where's my favorite TV program? Breaking news! Breaking news! A hurricane is about to hit Brookhaven. Wait, what? We didn't see it coming because we're terrible at meteorology, but... <laughs> Good luck because there's no other meteorologists in all of Brookhaven. And this one's gonna be a whopper of a storm. Molly, turn it up. I want to hear that. Your dad's out of town and... 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 And he's going to be trying to come back home. No one should leave their house. In two hours, the hurricane will start. Two hours? Mom, do we have the supplies we need? Oh my God, this is bad. Did you go to the grocery store today, Mom? Uh -huh. We're almost out of toilet paper. We're going to be stuck in the house during a hur hurricane with no toilet paper. Um, no, I didn't get a chance to go to the grocery store today. I was too busy at my work. Ah! We're all going to die. We don't have any toilet paper. Well, we have uh, half a roll. Does anybody not realize that Daisy uses almost a half a roll every time she goes in the bathroom? Well, I mean, I just... I don't need to hear about it, Daisy. I'm just saying, Mom, we need to get over to Walmart and buy all of our hurricane supplies. First of all, I need to call your dad and tell him not to attempt to come home. I've got a bucket in case any of the house leaks. Daisy, this is a brand new house. Look at the ceiling. It looks amazing. It's not going to leak. But we could use that if we don't have enough toilet paper. Ew, Molly. Gross. All right, let me call your father and then we'll head out to Walmart. We need to hurry if the hurricane's going to be here in two hours. Hey, honey, I was just about to call you. My flight got canceled. Apparently, there's a giant hurricane that's about to hit Brookhaven. I know. I was just going to tell you, don't get on the plane. None of the meteorologists saw it coming. Don't worry, honey. I'm going to miss you, and I want you to stay safe, but I'll stay safe here. Dad, I miss you. Also, bring toilet paper. What? What'd you say? She wants you to bring home some souvenir toilet paper. <laughs> uh, my daughter's so weird sometimes. Wait, I got my stuffed hippo. Uh, I'm not afraid. Come on, baby Kira. We have to go to the store. I'm just going to pick you up on my shoulders, okay? Because I don't want you to get your pajamas wet. It's already starting to rain a little bit. Baby Kira, why are you always sitting on my head? She likes to ride piggyback that way. It's so weird. Come on, girls. Let's go get in the car and head out to Walmart. Whoa, Walmart is so crowded. That's because we're about to get a huge storm. Everybody needs to buy eggs and bread so they can eat tons of French toast. Ay, uh, yeah, yeah, Molly. Anyway, let's split up and see what we can find. I'm definitely going to look for the toilet paper. Toilet paper's a necessity. Molly, we need to buy non-perishable canned goods. Ooh, this fruit looks good. 
I can make some smoothies with this. Molly, stay focused. Canned goods. Ooh, this Fanta orange soda comes in a can. Definitely gonna need some of that. And ooh, is that the cherry kind? Ooh, it looks delicious. Uh, matchmaker's cool mint. No. Ooh, chocolate. Definitely need that. Molly, seriously. Uh, sorry. Just thought of. I'm sort of stress eating, okay? Uh, look, Molly, they have um some different types of uh like chips and oh can you get some beans molly molly mom had that on the list molly okay i got the beans how about some cereal yeah she probably will want some of that okay do we want crunchy nut uh rice krispies corn flakes uh kit kat cereal uh that's not on the list molly she said to get the cheerios multi-grain family pack okay got it wow some of these shelves are cleared out already. It's because of the storm, Molly. Um, Daisy, the only kind of soup that's left is poop soup. Oh my gosh, what's that made out of? I think it's made out of seagull poo. Ew, gross! Yeah, I wouldn't want to eat that if I were you. I guess we'll just make lots of chili with those beans. Well, we better start looking for some of the dog food and also the toilet paper. Oh, Jiminy Cricket, I almost forgot about the toilet paper. All right, I got the dog food. Can you get another package of it, though? Because one for Grace and one for Cleo. And also, I'm going to need some milk and butter. And what else? Oh. Molly, those aren't non-perishable. No, but they're making me hungry looking at them, so I'm going to eat them all. Do -do 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 -do. Okay, let's go check out. Molly, you forgot about the most important thing that you were stressing about? Ah, toilet paper! All right, let's go see if they have any. Oh, my God. The aisle with the toilet paper is... Empty! Molly, we could just go to CVS. Maybe they'll have some. They better. They really better. All right, let's put up all of our stuff onto the conveyor belt. Hi, how are you? Are you ready for the storm? That's why we're here, lady, getting ready for the storm. Um, did you get anything for the storm? It looks like you bought a lot of chips and stuff. Uh, yeah, I know, but, um, that's because we are gonna be really hungry and we need to have chips and juice and soda and, but we got some of the stuff my mom asked for, like, like, like the, the cereal and stuff. Okay, well, as long as you got what was on your mom's list, be safe in the storm out there. Thank you. We hope we are. <sighs> if we ever get home. Hey, you're out of toilet paper, by the way. Yeah, I know. Everybody's been coming in and buying bread, milk, eggs, and toilet paper. Come on, Molly, let's go to CVS and see if they have toilet paper there. Molly, we have to hurry. The hurricane's gonna be here in 30 minutes. Okay, well, let's just go into the pharmacy and see if we can find some toilet paper. Uh, there's no toilet paper! Um, soap, uh, uh, oh my god, they're sold on a toilet paper! Uh, it's okay, Daisy. I, I, I figured this out. What, Molly, what is it? Diapers. Are you serious right now, Molly? Well, I mean, it works for baby Kira, and we really don't have a choice because we don't have any toilet paper, so we've all got to wear diapers through the entire storm oh this is terrible okay we'll buy every box that they have well they only have two boxes so um yeah you're gonna have to hold it a lot i can't believe it we're so unprepared mom's gonna be very upset we didn't find toilet people well we found an alternative that's all we can say molly oh i'm so glad you made it back home yeah um did you get the toilet paper huh 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 um, no, but we got one better. <laughs> Who needs toilet paper when you got this? Wait, what are you wearing? It's a diaper! Uh, yeah, I told her this wasn't gonna go over very well. Molly, we can't all wear diapers. Well, what do you want me to do? All of the toilet paper was sold out. Okay, well, diapers it is then. Oh! Wow, everybody red diaper like babies. Ah, oh, very funny, baby Kira. Well, let's just hope this storm passes quickly and we're all safe. Ow! Molly's already using a diaper! <laughs> False alarm. <laughs> oh, boy, Molly. <sighs> Wait, they're 
They're about to say something on the news. Breaking news, breaking news. Our meteorologists were wrong again. That hurricane is going to miss us. Just some light rain and then some sunshine this evening. Sunshine? It's 1030 at night. I mean, tomorrow. <laughs> I guess I'm not a very good news reporter. Our meteorologists and our news reporters are terrible here at Channel 16. Um, whoopsie. So anyway, don't worry about that hurricane. Ugh, too late because I already just used my diaper. Ew, Molly. <laughs> Congratulations, Mr. and Mrs. Acker. Your daughter, Molly, is so adorable. Aww. Thanks, Nurse Betty. But I have a question. Um, I was just wondering, uh, when is this baby fat gonna go away? I thought once I had the baby, I wouldn't be fat anymore. But look at my stomach! My shirt doesn't even fit. Oh, honey, I think you look beautiful. Aww. I mean, I like the muffins that spill out of the can. That's the best. <laughs> He's not helping, is he? No, not at all! That wasn't a compliment! Sorry, I'm just saying, like, extra muffins are always super delicious. I mean, you know when you, like, put them in the baking tin and then they explode out and you get an extra big muffin? That's kind of like your tummy underneath your shirt right now. Oh my gosh, Dan! <gasps> okay. I think you two are gonna need a minute. But before that, I just wanna say, your baby is super cute, but you have to make sure you know exactly how to take care of her. So you guys know what to do, right? Cause tonight's gonna be your first night home alone with the baby. Yeah, we'll be fine, right honey? Yeah, if I don't look like an extra fat muffin. Oh, but you're my cute little muffin, honey. Ah, ah, ha, ha. It's normal after a baby is born to feel a bit emotion. Oh, Mrs. Acker, everything's gonna be fine. Now, let me see baby Molly. I wanna show you some things before you go home. If she cries, you can always try going shh, 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 shh. If that doesn't work, sometimes they like when you just give them a little pat, pat, pat like this. And if that still doesn't work, you can try driving him around in the car and listening to some Mozart mm. or gentle classical music. I was thinking more that I could listen to some, like, heavy metal. Yeah, you think she'd like that? Of course not, Dan. Maybe be too harsh for the baby's ears. Well, whatever you do, just make sure the music isn't too loud. Now, when you swaddle her and put her in the crib, you definitely want to make sure that um, the blanket is not like over her face or anything like that. And, um, you know, you just want to make sure that she's wrapped up tight. I like to call her a baby burrito. Any questions, Mrs. Acker? No, no questions. I... I'm just a little nervous, but... Don't worry, honey. I'm taking notes. Everything will be fine. All right. Well, let's head out to your car and make sure you know how to put the baby in the car seat. I'll be out there in a minute. I just have to check on a couple of other patients. One minute, 37 seconds later. Dan, I can't believe you brought the police work car to pick us up. Well, uh, my car's in the shop, but look it. <laughs> I can flash the sirens. It'll be a big deal. We can be like, honk, honk. We have a baby. Uh, if you say so, Dan. Honey, I, I know you're still mad at me about calling you a chubby muffin, but I love you and don't get mad at me, okay? I'm just a little stressed. We're bringing our first baby home. It's okay, Dan. Aw, we're holding hands. I know. I love you so much. Many, many minutes later. Um, Mr. and Mrs. Acker, did you forget something? No, I remembered my overnight bag. I think we're okay. How about your new baby daughter? Oh my god, we forgot the baby! Oh, we're gonna be terrible parents! Don't worry, this happens more than you think. Now, come on, let's see about putting her in the car seat the proper way. Welcome home, baby Molly. We're so excited to be your parents. Yeah, sweet little girl, you're so adorable. All right, come on, this is your new house. Welcome home. There's a nice fire going, so you're nice and cozy. Ugh, I'm still so hungry! Honey, it's okay. It's okay if you're my chubby little muffin. Ah, stop calling me a chubby muffin! Oh no, she's crying. What do we do? What do we do? Wait a minute, what did Nurse Betty say? Oh, we could say like this. Shh, 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 shh. Oh, wait a minute, I'm sitting in the tie chair! That's the wrong thing to do! 
Uh, Dan, that was pretty funny. You sat in the high chair. <laughs> oh, he said we could. She said we could pat her just slightly like this. Bup, 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 bup. Um, Dan, I think she might want to get down. Okay, baby. Do do you want to crawl around on the floor? Here you go. Aww. Maybe she wants a bottle. Let's try that. Here you go. Click, 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 click. She stopped crying. I think we did the right thing. Oh, thank goodness. Having this baby um, on the outside of the world instead of in my tummy is much harder than I thought it would be. Yeah, I'm so happy right now. Don't break the high chair, Dan. You're not supposed to dance on it. Oh, <laughs> oh yeah, that is for baby Molly. Oh, sweet baby. What do you think she wants to do now? Probably just explore around the house, Dan, and see what there is to see. She's never been in her new home before. Uh, she's climbing the stairs. Is that bad? Yes, Dan. She's not supposed to climb the stairs. She's a baby. Oh, I think Yami did that to the no, the vacuum's not for you. I mean, someday you'll have chores, but not yet. I hope she loves doing chores. I doubt it. No kid ever likes doing chores. Oh, she found her bed and she's laying in it. That's such a good sign, right, Laura? Yeah, she can't go to bed yet. We have to give her her first bath. Oh, yeah, baby, you need to have a bath. Come on. Come with Daddy. I'll take the party to have a bath. Yummy. Okay, baby Molly, come on. Oh, wait, honey, we didn't buy a baby bathtub. What are we going to do? Um, well, we could give her a shower. She's a baby. We can't give her a shower. Um, well, I guess we could bathe her in the sink. Isn't that what our parents did with us? Oh, yeah, you're right. Okay, baby Molly, come here, honey. We're going to give you a bath in the sink. Your very first bath. I feel like she's getting caught in my stomach fat. Oh, honey, don't be ridiculous. Oh, whoa, yeah, she kind of is. <laughs> um, yeah, this baby weight thing is ridiculous. I did a party. Did you die? Oh, did you do it for me? Yeah. Aww. Oh, sweet girl. Ah, you did it for me. Oh, is the water too cold? Here you go. I'll make it warmer. And here, here's your pacifier. She seems pretty happy about her first bath. She totally does. She's adorable, honey. <laughs> I'm so glad we decided to have kids. Me too. Oh, look at the baby in her little crib. Honey, are you filming this? Of course I am. This is a magical moment. Her first night sleeping in her very own bed. I don't know what they were talking about when they said kids keep you up all night. Look at ours. She's a perfect little angel. Okay, sweetheart. Sweet dreams. Get her. Okay. Oh, man, I'm super tired. Tell me about it. I just had a baby. What's wrong, baby Molly? Shh, shh, shh. There, there. Here's your pacifier. All right, go back to sleep, sweetheart. One minute, 37 seconds later. <coughs> Don't worry, honey. I'll get her this time. Thanks, Dan. Oh, maybe they were right about this baby waking up. No, no, no. It's only been twice. She just needs a little help going to sleep. La, la, la. Daddy's here. Go to sleep, little baby. See, she's going to be totally fine. Oh, my God. This baby has kept us up all night. I'm pretty sure our baby is a demon! What? No, she. this is just how normal babies are. I know you were an only child. Well, except for your sister, but, you know, she didn't come later. Later, and then... What are you talking about? My sister is my twin. 
Yeah, but she came later. You were born first, so you're sort of an only child. Dan, I think you have absolutely lack of sleep going on right now, because that's the most ridiculous thing I've ever heard. Um, <laughs> sorry, I get really goofy when I'm tired. <laughs> Can we talk about the fact that our baby is a demon? What? No, no, honey, you're just sleep deprived. She's not actually a demon. Here, I'll show you. She looks like a demon! I see a demon face! <laughs> see? It's our sweet little baby Molly. Yeah, except for when she wakes us up all night long, she's sort of a demon. I think you can play die if you love mama. What did demon say your name? Did she seriously just say my name? Oh my god! That's amazing! Oh, sweet little baby! I don't care how many times you wake me up in the night! Oh, that's so, so sweet. So you want to have more kids after this one? No! Absolutely not! I was thinking we could have three or four. No! Just one! <laughs> You'll change your mind. Trust me. I need your body. I need your tip over here, mama. <laughs>
topic forever, right? Yeah, totally. So sad. I lost my best friend to the zombie apocalypse. Molly, your shirt! It has green on it! A little green alien! Huh, what? Ah! Oh my god. And so is it everything green? Because I've been touching this the whole time and I'm not a zombie. Oh, maybe it's just the plants and the trees and everything living. So your shirt is okay. Oh, hopefully the whole town isn't a zombie yet. I'm gonna go out and take a look. Okay, the door won't open now. <laughs> Unlock! Oh, I'm gonna go to Starbucks and get a cupcake. What a stressful day! Ooh, look at that green apple. That looks delicious. No! Don't touch that! Didn't you watch the news? What? No, I'm starving. Ah! You're touching the color green! Oh my gosh, you're gonna turn into a zombie. What are you talking about? I think this apple tastes fine. Ugh, my stomach kind of hurts now. I guess I wasn't that hungry. Here you go, you can have it. Oh, ah! Why did I catch that? Oh my god, no! 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 Oh, I don't feel so good. Uh-oh. It's happening, isn't it? I'm gonna turn into a zombie! Brains! Brains! Why can't I get up off the ground? I'm a lazy zombie. Ugh, so much like my human self. Marty? No! Marty, not you too! My sister! No! Marty, you stay back. Stay back for me, Marty! Uh, I want to eat your brain, sister. I am so hungry. I better go to my science lab, try to reverse this horrible potion. Marty, please! Oh, no. Brains, want to eat your brains. Let me in. Don't you want a nice, delicious cupcake, Molly? You love cupcakes. Yes, brain cupcakes. Stop saying brains. Brains. Wow, you're even annoying as a zombie. Go figure. I've been working night and day for an entire week, but I think I know how to reverse the zombie apocalypse that's happening. All I have to do is mix up this potion, and I should be able to cure all of Brookhaven by putting a few traps in the water source. I just hope I'm not too late for my sister Molly. As annoying as she is, she's more annoying wanting to eat my brains. City of Brookhaven, don't worry. Scientist Daisy will cure you all. I'm on my way. Uh-oh. Did I just touch the color green? Oh no! I've doomed all of Brookhaven! It's happening! It's happening! All of Brookhaven is now zombified! Brains! I want brains! <laughs>
Guys, this obby is pretty different. It's kind of cool. Like I said, it's like you've been dropped down the rabbit hole into Alice in Wonderland or something. I like it, though. I think it's pretty cool, too, Molly. It's very different. There's lava in here, though. No, Molly, that's bubbling tea. Oh, no. Look at this clown. Oh, he's so sad because he got dropped into the tea. Ooh. Oh, my gosh. I just touched it. OMG. Oh, no. He's a jack in the box. Okay, I see now. I thought he was just like a regular clown, but now he's a jack in the box. And there's one over here too, Daisy. They are jack in the boxes. Um, I'm not sure if they look sad or angry. Maybe a little bit of both. They don't like being in the hot lava. All right, it says, oh my gosh, it's like Candyland in here. Ah! <laughs> Wee! Ooh, they're like chocolate in the center. Mm. This is the most delicious hobby ever. Molly, those might be booby trapped. They might be, but I kind of don't care. Darling's Dollhouse, one mile ahead. Hurry, Molly, don't get hit by those giant lollipops or whatever. Ooh, look at those. Mmm, those chocolates look delicious. Molly, stop eating everything and run. <laughs> Why is this an obby you'd ever want to escape? Something tells me Darling is not as darling as she seems. Maybe, but ooh, Bonbon's my favorite. Hit the checkpoint, Molly, and let's make it through this next part. Come on, Daisy, let's go. All right, neither one of us died. That was amazing. Yeah, especially for you, noob. <laughs> go, go, go. Oh my gosh, I just died. I spoke too soon. Oopsie. It's all right. I can make it this time. I'm sure of it. You just have to like time it exactly right. Wait a minute. I Did I go the wrong way? Follow the big arrows, Molly. And also look for your sister. Okay, running. Wow, here it is, Darling's Dollhouse. Oh my gosh, it really is Darling. Welcome to Darling's Dollhouse. So it's like a dollhouse within a dollhouse. She lives down here in Wonderland. And she's well... Creepy! Holy guacamole! Hello, welcome to my dollhouse. Do you see a button eyes, Molly? Um, yes. But she's also got candy in her hair, so I feel like we could be friends. Guys, if you want to give um, Darling a gift, you could give her tacos or you could vomit on her. You know, those are the two options in this game. Well, Molly, Darling might be evil. I haven't decided yet. Yeah. Um, okay, it says Darling's um, hide and seek game. Find three buttons to open the door. Find three buttons to open the door. Hide and seek. Where are you? Oh, there's one. Oh my gosh. What's this mean? <laughs> I'm finding you, and now I'm chasing you. And if I catch you, you'll probably need to die. Okay, yeah, she's definitely evil. Remember when we said, I wonder if she's evil? Yep, she's evil. OMG, I knew she'd be evil. All right, I'm not sure I know where the other buttons are. Oh, wait, I think there's a button down there. All right, there's another button. Oh my gosh, she comes down out of the ceiling every single time. Where are the other buttons? I think that might be one up here, Molly. Um, is she right? Is she right? No, I already did that one, Daisy. Oh my gosh. I don't know where the third button is, guys. I'm just running around in circles. Well, there's that button. Maybe if I go inside this room? I don't know. What's in here? <gasps> Ooh, it's her, it's her bedroom. It's just every single picture is of her. She might be a little bit conceited. Just a little. Do any of these doors open? No, they're all locked. Guys, I don't know where the third button is. I really don't. Molly! Follow me, I'll help you. There you are, Daisy. I was wondering when you were going to come rescue me and be good at the game when I'm not. Oh, that's just my job, Molly. No, 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 I pushed that button, Daisy. Um, yeah, she's stuck there being crazy. Okay, let me show you the other buttons then. If you already pushed that one. Okay, and I pushed that one, Daisy. Where's the other button? Daisy, where'd you go? Daisy disappeared. She's like, I'm right here, Molly Jeepers. Okay, yeah, I also pushed this one. But then you pushed out the way of them, you crazy loony tunes. <laughs> but wait, no, one of them's not. It just says red. I can't get through. I All of the buttons are green. All right, let me try pushing them again because that's weird. This is definitely a glitch in the game for me, guys. All right, I pushed this one. I pushed that one. Okay. Oh, wait, it opened. But it was already green. Isn't that weird? Come on, Molly. Who cares? Let's just escape, darling. She's, well, she's evil. She's not very darling at all. I know, darling. <laughs> Stop saying darling, Molly. OMG. It's like a giant Ferris wheel. Yes, please. Oh, okay. Wait a minute. I think you've got to jump on it and then keep jumping or something, Daisy. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. Ooh. This is hard. 
This is very hard. I don't get it. What am I supposed to do now? Jump it just a little time, Molly! Oh boy, well this is gonna take me forever. Everybody knows I don't know when to jump at the right time. Does anybody else think he's look like a corn dog? Or is it just me? It's just you, Molly. Maybe now? 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 Ooh. Now? No. <laughs> Can I buy the tacos now, Daisy? No, Molly, you can't buy the tacos. Why? I need tacos. Tacos are delicious. Tacos make me feel better. I need the tacos! Wait, I think I just made it to the next part. Oh, yeah, I did. This part is very difficult, guys. Very. But, oh, man! I almost made it, but I, not really. You almost made it, but not really, huh, Molly? Yeah, almost, but not really. Don't worry, I'll figure it out. I always do, right, guys? I think. I hope. Ooh. Oh, man. Ah! I'm gonna be here forever, forever and ever. I don't understand this part. It's driving me crazy. Oh, I almost made it. It's like, you have to time it exactly perfectly or, you know, you die, pretty much. Okay, I'm gonna walk out to the very edge and then hopefully, ah! no. All right, how much does it cost to skip a stage? Just asking. Would you like to skip to the next checkpoint? Yes. How much do you want? 25 Robux? Worth it! Goodbye, people. Wow, you finally decided to show up, huh? And you had to cheat. Yeah, but I got a skipper award. <laughs> oh, that's kind of funny. I like the skipper awards. Oh my gosh, this axe is trying to kill me right now? This seems like a little bit crazy town. Whoa, oh my gosh. Oh, they can't get me right here. Okay, good. Holy moly. Holy moly! Holy macaroni! <laughs> Holy cheesy macaroni! Ay, yeah, yeah. My sister's crazy. Yeah, this game is making me crazy. Whoa, so much spinning around. And don't look now, but there's another half moon that's an axe. This darling is, well, she's nuts. Just gonna say it. All right, Daisy, uh, wait. Oh my gosh, she didn't wait. Daisy, you're gonna die. I didn't die, Molly, see? Look at all the balloons, it's like a party. A uh, kill us party, I guess. I love the next um levels that you go through. I think they're so awesome. Oh, wait a minute. I got an, a, a friend award. Why did I get a friend award? I don't know. I'm Darling's friend, I guess. Maybe it's because we're playing together. We're not friends. We're sisters. We also can be friends, Molly. No, not a chance. All right, you got to jump on the couch like this. Trust me, I do this all the time at home. <laughs> yeah, you're not supposed to either, Molly. Well, I know, but I'm just good at jumping on the couch, so I know what I'm doing here. Oh, no! This is crazy! I love this hobby. Wait for it, wait for it, wait for it, wait for it, wait for it. Oh, oh this part's making me dizzy. You guys, if you play this game, it might make you dizzy. Just saying. Wee! All right, now I'm going to jump on the bed. Maybe. Okay, now, I, yes, now I have to go. Right now. Right now. Oh, my gosh, people. Ah! No, no, no! Yes! Oh, I almost made it, and uh, then I almost died, and then I made it, and oh god, checkpoint. Good job, Molly. You sound really stressed out. Let me off your crazy ride, teddy bear. Ooh. Oh, man, I died. All right, I'm back out of the crazy teddy bear again. Oh, yeah, I made it to the next checkpoint. Thank goodness, this is difficult. Like I said, guys, this part's gonna make you dizzy. This game developer was definitely inspired by Alice in Wonderland. And if you guys didn't know, I love Alice in Wonderland. Oh my gosh, destroy darling. I think we're at the end of this epic battle, guys. Uh-oh. Dun, dun, dun! I'm sorry about this, darling, but I have to shoot these pieces of gumballs at you. It's okay, though, she's just sort of standing there. No, she's trying to kill you with a sweet swing. Oh, really? Like, that's just kind of sad. Oh, man, she tried to take me down with a donut. Daisy, did you die? Well, I don't want to tell you if I lived or died because I make you feel bad. Ooh, Daisy, I might actually beat you this time. Oh, my gosh. But everybody knows that you can escape chocolates and donuts and candy. It's just how you are. Well, she does have a point there, guys. Oh, I'm not shooting at her right now. I'm not shooting at anything. Get, get away from me, gumdrops. Guys, I don't even like gumdrops. That's why she's trying to kill you with them. Yeah, she's real like that. Oh, my gosh! She got me, guys! Or did I get her? I'm not really sure. Uh-oh. Goodbye. <laughs> oh, man. She's a psycho. What? Oh, no. I got her with the chandelier. Now I'm doing the chicken dance. Poor darling Dolly. Well, she was evil. It had to happen. Come on, Molly. Let's try to get out of here. Well, we can try, but I can't promise I know my way out of here. 
This place is crazy! Wait, I think I see an exit. Oh my gosh, we made it! Yes! Oh, wait, back to the start. Whoa, no thank you. That doll was crazy down. Yeah, she was, Molly. Totally. Hey guys, thanks so much for watching my channel today. Don't forget to subscribe if you want to see more fun games like this one where Daisy and I play together. That's a wait, guys. And um, thank you for all the, the well wishes in the comments because they broke my wrist. That was so nice of you. Yeah, guys, that really was nice of you. <coughs> I'm coughing. Are you sick, Molly? We can't both be sick at the same time, and I'm currently the one with the broken wrist. No, 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 no. <coughs> I just I swallowed a bug. Ew, gross. <laughs> Happens sometimes when you talk too much. Uh, I'll go eat a donut and wash it down. It'll be fine. Ew, gross, Molly. Make me want to puke. Guys, thanks so much for watching. We'll see you next time. Bye! <laughs>
Oh, okay, Molly. Well, come on. Let's go give you all of your wishes. <laughs> Actually, I have another idea. Alakazam! Alakazee! Now, little unicorn, you belong to me. What? What? Well, well, it's happening! Molly, why are you doing this to me? Molly! <laughs> now you belong to me, little unicorn, and you have to do all of my wishes. The first thing I'm going to wish for is that Molly's stuck in her room forever! <laughs> Wait a minute, you're not Molly? No, I don't, I don't want to make her stuck in her room forever. You have to do it. Go over to the door and lock it forever. Oh, okay. Oh, I'm so sorry about this, Molly. Brookie, let me out of here. I can't, Molly. She she put a spell on me, your evil opposite twin, and, and now I have to lock you in your room forever. What? No, I need to have cupcakes. I mean, these ones won't last me forever. How are you going to lock me in here forever? I'm, I'm going to be hungry. I'm sorry, Molly. It's not my fault. Oh, good morning, Marley. Whoa, Brookie Cookie, what happened to you? Don't talk to my unicorn. Wait, what, Molly? Brookie Cookie turned into a unicorn and you didn't tell me? Well, I'm telling you now, bratty sister. Molly, what has got into you? You shouldn't be talking to me that way. Oh, Daisy, I, I, I... Hey, unicorn, no talking. Molly, that is rude to talk to your friend Boogie Cookie like that. Why are you doing that? Because now she belongs to me. <laughs> whoa, whoa, whoa. I must have missed something here. What is going on? Um, well, you see, um... Hey, quiet, unicorn. Okay. Molly, what's good gone? <laughs> well, you see, Brookie Cookie got turned into a unicorn. Uh, yeah, I gathered that. And now she grants all of my wishes. Brookie, Brookie, do you want to um, grant all of her w wishes? Um, not really. Hey, unicorn! You will say, yes, I want to grant all Molly's wishes from now on. Um, I want to... Wait a minute! No! I didn't mean Molly. What's going on, Hugh? Molly, is that you or did an alien abduct you? She, She's not... Hey, quiet! I, from now on, will grant all of my master's wishes. I, from now on, will grant all of my master's wishes. Oh, boy, this isn't good. Molly, if you aren't nicer to her, I'm telling on you... Okay, I see that my sister Daisy is going to be a problem here. So, I'm going to have to get rid of her. What do you mean, Molly? Get rid of me. Are you serious right now? I've really had it with you, Molly. I'm so sorry about this, Bookie. Don't worry, I'll make it better. Oh, Daisy, I I think you've done the wrong thing here. What? What do you mean? <laughs> okay, unicorn. Put her in the underwater prison. What? What? Molly? What's happening? <laughs> now you're stuck in the underwater prison forever. Molly, how could you? <laughs> Who's Molly? What? What are you talking about? I'm her evil opposite twin, Polly. And now you're stuck in this underwater prison forever. <laughs> series ever because now it's over and i don't want it to be over i want more episodes and 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 uh, how will i know if wednesday is okay well we have to wait till next season but don't worry molly there's this amazing new episode of brook high who cares about brook high i want to watch wednesday 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 well maybe we could talk about the series and that will make it so you don't miss it so much yeah, okay.
I loved Enid. I think her and Wednesday are more alike than anyone realizes. What? What are you talking about? They're like total opposites. Molly, they remind me of me and you a lot, actually. Well, we're nothing alike. Well, we're sort of alike in some ways. No, we're not. We're nothing alike. Um, but I am kind of like a Wednesday. Well, I feel like I'm like Enid. Well, I'm just saying that we're nothing alike. I think we're a lot more alike than you think we are. And I dare you to do a morning routine tomorrow with me where I'm Enid and you're Wednesday. And I'll show you how much alike we are. And I'll show you how much we're not alike. Well, Molly, are you going to take the deal? Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> it's morning. Wednesday, wake up. Oh, what? Who is she calling Wednesday? Is she going crazy? Huh, what? Wednesday, it's me, Enid. Molly, wake up. You're supposed to be Wednesday this morning, remember? Oh, huh, what? I thought you were just kidding about that. <sighs> Molly, come on! You took the deal! Do you want to lose? Huh, what? No? Huh, just give me five minutes, okay? You won't be Wednesday in five minutes. You could never. Oh, yeah? Watch me. Well, oh, I have five minutes to be Wednesday, so that means four of those I can go back to sleep. Okay, I've got to be Wednesday. Got to wake up. Got to be Wednesday. Ha ha ha! Look at me. I am so ready for this Wednesday morning routine. Oh, Wednesday! It's time to get ready for school. Enid, where are you? Your chipper self is annoying me right now. You're too happy in the morning. I'm just down making a delicious breakfast with rainbow sprinkles. Rainbow sprinkles? Seriously? Ugh, her cheer is starting to get on my nerves. I may have to kill you today. Whoa, why are you so short? Why are you so tall? Whoa, what's the thing on your head? Uh, duh, this is my little friend named Thing. He's a severed hand. Be careful, let her drip blood on you. Um, oh, um... Gee, that's disgusting! I can't believe you're my actual roommate. I just drank a ton of coffee, so I hope my werewolf doesn't come out. What do you have for breakfast? The souls of my enemies! <laughs> you're being serious right now? Yeah, totally. And right now, you're my enemy. Okay, well, let's get going to school. Um... Whatever you have for breakfast, I hope it's a good one. <laughs> I'm just going to go in and collect my books and stuff. I don't need books. I remember everything. I have like a photographic memory of everything that's ever happened to me in my entire life. I've got to brush my teeth because, you know, I like to have the most shiniest and sharpest teeth. Sharp teeth? What, what are you talking about, Wednesday? Oh, uh, I just I just sharpen my teeth up with some... Uh, with some rock toothpaste in the morning? What? What are you talking about? No, seriously, I do. Because if I ever have to bite somebody in a fight, I want to make sure that my teeth are like a vampires. You know, vampires go to a school, right? Uh-huh. Molly, are you still pretending you're Wednesday? Who's Molly? What do you think, I have split personalities or something? <laughs> la, 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 la. Wednesday? In case we run into that monster in the woods on the way to school. I plan on taking the school bus. The school bus? Are you serious? I would rather die! Oh, okay. Well, we don't have to take the school bus if you don't want to, but everybody's so friendly. You'd really like the other werewolves. I barely like the one in front of me. Wow. My roommate is kind of rude. Yeah, don't you think she's nothing like you at all? No, I'm sure we have some similarities, and I'm going to find them. I'll be down in a few minutes. I have to do my month, my morning journal. Yeah, that's what I meant to say. Oh, I definitely need a latte. Today, I found out I have the most annoying roommate ever. Her name is Eden. Enid. Enith? Edith? I don't know. I think it's Enid. But she is definitely a demon. She's so friendly and nice, and oh, I swear she poops rainbows. 
Now I have to go to school, so I'll talk to you later, Journal. I know, Thing. I don't like going to public education either. It's just a prison for our brains. A prison! Uh, Molly, why do you have a giant umbrella? It's not even raining. Because I don't want the evil sun to touch my skin. It might burn me! Molly, getting some sunshine every day is good for you. Look how cheery it makes me! Yep, definitely need the umbrella then. Wednesday, this is not the way to school! I told you, I have to hunt down that monster. I don't recall you saying that. Well, I have to, Enid. The safety of Nevermore and all of our town is, is, is at risk. This is not our responsibility. We should tell the teachers at Nevermore. Blah, 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 blah. What are you, chicken? Absolutely. I haven't even turned into my werewolf form yet. Well, no time like the present. Come on, I think I found its cave. I'm not a very good swimmer. You'll be fine. Come on. What's that? <laughs> um, uh, Wednesday, I, I agree with you, Molly. You win. They're nothing alike. I'm going to school. Enid, don't you dare run away. I'm, I'm going to need you. Enid! What a chicken. Okay, Hyde. It's you and me. Take that, Hyde. And that. And that. Oh! Whoa, I actually took down the hide. That was amazing. All right, I better get to that prison they call school. Wednesday, are you okay? Yes, Enid, I'm fine. And uh, is that blood on your wax? What was that? Um, well, it's blood of the hide. Oh my gosh, according to this, they've marked us as tawny. Oh! Don't worry, we're just a little late for school. The principal won't care, right? She cares, Molly. She always cares. Wednesday Adams, Wednesday Adams, and her roommate Enid, please report to my office immediately. Oh, great. Now I'm going to get in trouble. Well, at least now we have that in common. Ugh! Wednesday, you're infuriating! <laughs> you said you wanted something in common with me, and now you have it. Well, well, well. Look who decided to show up to school. Why are you late? Uh, Bali, I wouldn't tell her the truth. Well, I was busy killing the hide, see? With my axe here. <gasps> what are you talking about? That is very dangerous. You both shall have detention for a month. What? I can't have detention for a month. I have to go to werewolf camp every night. My mom said so. Well, you'll have to be suspended from werewolf camp for the month. Ugh! Wednesday! You're so frustrating! So, you still want to be my roommate? I can't believe this. And guess what? We didn't even do this morning routine right. What? What are you talking about? Thing? Snap your fingers! If we're going to do a morning routine, then we have to do it in our room at Nevermore. Ah, look at my beautiful side of the room. And then look at Enid's. Ugh, she's so annoying.